writer's block. It's that frustrating, paralyzing sensation that every writer fears. It's the feeling of staring at a blank page, waiting for the words that refuse to come. It's like hitting a wall in the middle of a vast creative landscape. But wait, what is that right here? Oh, writing assistant. Okay, let's see. Let's talk about us. Let's write two paragraphs. Well, now let me just include here a small text describing what I need. And let's see what this does. Oh, okay. It seems nice. Look at that. Wow, nothing like artificial intelligence, hey? I'm kind of liking it. Alright, so all I have to do now is just press use text and voila. Hey there, this is Thiago Mazeo and I'm a content creator here for one.com and as you saw here from my writer's blog, you saw that it could be very easy to do it with AI, but there are many ways that you can add content to your website and in this video we'll cover some options so you can figure out what's best for you and for your website. We'll be using one.com website builder to demonstrate the process, but these strategies can also work if you're using another content managed system like WordPress, for example. First, log into your website builder. And if you don't have the website builder, you can follow this tutorial just using our 14 day free trial. So you can find the link here in the description for you uh, and you can join uh, for free and follow along with us. And don't worry, you don't need to provide any credit card to try it out. It's free, completely free. All right, so after you're logged in, there are many ways to create content for your website. The first one is creating content manually on your own. You can do that from the website builder by adding any text element to your page or editing a text element inside the template that you're already using, all right? So you can just click in this element and then you just tweak the copy and publish and there you go. The second option would be hiring freelancers to write it for you and then uploading them just like we showed previously. You do it manually, but you have freelancers writing the content for you specifically. Uh, so that's the second option. And then the third option would be using AI powered writing assistant. So basically it's an artificial intelligence tool that we have in the website builder, like you saw in the intro of this video. And it's very helpful and very nice for you to check it out. We'll cover some of the pros and cons of each of the methods. All right, so let's start with creating content manually. So the pros would be quality control. So if you created a content on your own, you have the complete control over the content quality, the tone of voice, and also the style of your content. The second one is personalization. And your content can be tailored to your specific brand voice and also to your audience. The third one is creativity because manual content creation allows you to be more creative and express a unique storytelling. The fourth one is authenticity because usually your readers will be able to identify identify if your content was manually produced or not. And that brings to a good point if you're doing it manually because you can be as authentic as possible and provide as much value for your customers and have everything tailored to them. All right, so let's jump into some of the cons, right? So the first one would be time consuming. So manually creating content can be time intensive, especially if your volumes are large and if you want to produce a lot of content. The second one is resource intensive. This may require a team of skilled writers and editors to scale it up, uh, which brings us to the third point, which is consistency. All right, so the quality and style is something that is hard to maintain across all the content, and that could be a bit challenging over time. The fourth one is limited scalability, right? So scaling up your content production can be difficult, and it could also be very costly. Which brings us to the next topic, which is hiring freelancers, right? So let's jump into pros. So the first one is, expertise. So when you hire freelancers, you're bringing people that are specialized and they have knowledge and skills 
around that content you're looking for. The second point would be flexibility. You can also hire freelancers on a project by project basis and need. So not every time you can maybe do a mix of your own content with freelancers and so on. So you have a lot of flexibility in that sense. The third one is diverse voices. So freelancers, they can provide a fresh perspective and diversity into your content. And the fourth one is scalability, right? Of course, you'll have to spend some money in there, but you can easily scale content production up or down as you require in your website or your business. So let's talk about cons now. So the first one would be cost because high quality freelancers can be expensive and costs can add up very quickly. The second one would be communication because managing multiple freelancers can be time consuming and miscommunications may occur every now and then. So you need to make sure you have a good communication system in between uh, to make it work out really well. The third one is dependency because your content creation process relies on external individuals and that leads to potential delays to your uh, deliveries and also to your release dates. The fourth one, is availability, right? Freelancers may not always be available when you need them. So that can also be a hassle for some people that have tight deadlines or don't wanna miss on a release date for an article, for example. So let's move on to using AI generated content. So we have also an article at one.com academy. So I'll also leave a link here in the description so you can check it out. There is a lot of information uh, that you can learn from in that article. So I, I really suggest you go there. So just go here to the description. You can find a link to that article. So let's start with the pros for AI generated content. All right, so the first one is efficiency. AI can generate content very quickly as you saw in the intro of this video and at the lowest cost possible compared to manual creation or compared to freelancers like we mentioned which can get quite expensive and quite fast. The second one is consistency. AI ensures a consistent tone of voice and also style across all your content. So that's really nice because you can keep the same pattern going for all your pieces. The third one is 24 seven availability because you're no longer waiting uh, on freelancers that have tight schedules and so on. AI can create content around the clock and improving productivity all the time for you. The fourth one is data-driven insights. AI can analyze data to optimize content for SEO and users engagement. But not everything is pros, so let's talk about cons for AI generated content. So the first one is lack of creativity. AI generated content may lack creativity, emotional depth and a human touch. The second point is quality concerns. So there's always a risk of AI generated content containing errors and inaccuracies. So you should always look and review all those generated texts and go through them and say, all right, they're nice and they are good to go. You correct a few mistakes here and there and you should be good to publish. The third one is ethical considerations. AI generated content can arise ethical concerns such as plagiarism. So we do recommend that you run through some platforms to check if anything that you're doing is relating to plagiarism or not, or you're ready to go. Uh, if you want to learn more about which tools to use to identify plagiarism in AI generated content, please leave a comment down below and our team will get back to you with a few suggestions. The fourth one is limited contextual understanding. AI may struggle to grasp complex topics or to understand nuanced contexts. Well, in the end, the choices of manual content creation, hiring freelancers or using AI generated content depends solely on you and your specific goals, resources and the nature of your content needs, right? Many businesses find a balance between these approaches to achieve the best results. But if you do choose to use AI generated content, here are some of the best practices that you should consider. The first one is to review and edit 
always. So always take a look and be careful and review AI generated content to make sure you have accuracy and coherence in all the content that you're publishing. AI can make mistakes and you should review them to catch the mistakes, fix them and be ready to publish. The second one is maintain a human touch. So just make sure that your content still has a human tone of voice and that all your content should sound natural and engaging, whether it's human or AI generated. So make sure you take a look into it before publishing. The third one is ethical use. So just be mindful of ethical considerations when using AI for content and avoid plagiarism like we discussed before and also respect copyright laws. The fourth one is conduct A-B testing on your site. Test AI generated content against manually created content to see which one performs better and then you can decide what's best for your business. All right, so after you get your content published, you should then work on optimizing it for search engines like Google. And if you want to learn more about keyword research and also our SEO scan tool, just click here or right here and you can watch our other video on that. If you see value in this video, consider subscribing here to our channel and don't forget to leave us a like because that helps us with the algorithm here. So thank you very much and I see you guys on the next video.